the Saskatoon Islamic Center located at 222 Copland in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan is the first and oldest Islamic school and masjid in the city. This is the main entrance. This has been the stop for 30 Masjids Canada on day 19 of Ramadan 2016. I have had a very good experience at this Masjid location and I've seen innovations or perhaps ideas that other Masjids may be inspired by to borrow, steal in a good way and implement. Let's take a look. This is a really neat idea to subscribe to the email list of the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan here in Saskatoon. They have a tablet where you can enter your email address and sign up on the spot. You don't have to be online. You just have to be here in real life walking by into the main prayer hall and you can sign up for the email list. Pretty good idea. This is the Brothers Wudu station. The place where brothers will wash and prepare for their daily prayers. It's about average, perhaps a little bit above so for ablution washing stations as far as masjids go but the one little extra touch is that there's no paper towels here there are hand dryers okay we see that more and more being environmentally aware but we also have A hand dryer which is closer to the ground the floor and the purpose of that is to dry your feet never seen that anywhere else so this is a great idea to make drying our feet after washing our feet before the prayer without the use of paper towels it's an idea that more masjids should perhaps borrow, steal, or make use of. It's a great idea. One last idea which really struck me during my visit here at the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan's Regina Masjid is this. This is simply a portrait sized mirror that is put beside the brothers wudu area how often do we wash up and just for a moment we just need to look at ourselves just address our how we look for just a moment make ourselves a little bit presentable take a second or two and the mirror here allows that full length often the prayer area the uh, ablution station rather does not have the mirror if it's connected with the washroom obviously yes there are uh, mirrors in front of the sinks by the sinks but a full-length mirror never saw that anywhere else again another innovation that the brothers here in Saskatoon have brought into their masjid to make life a little bit easier. To make full use of each available spot and space for prayer, there's a sign here that tells you you can't pray beyond this spot 
because on the other side of the wall is where the Imam would be standing, but you would not be able to see that being on this side of the wall. The community has grown so much that all of this becomes prayer space on Fridays. This is reminiscent of the signs in Medina, Saudi Arabia, that tell you where you cannot stand, otherwise you would be in front of the Imam, on either side of the outside of the Masjid al-Nabawi, the Prophet's Masjid, peace be upon him, in Medina. Not every Masjid lists or has a sign like this, or needs a sign like this, but perhaps there are masjids that do, and yet don't have a sign like this. Simple idea, makes a difference. We are in the, well, one of the most farthest corners from the mimbar in the prayer hall of the Brothers' Side in the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan's Regina's Muslim Prayer Hall. This mesh separates and this wall separates the sisters from the brothers. To maximize the amount of prayer space for an ever-growing congregation. The Imam may deliver the khutbah from here, and the prayers may be led from here. Here's a microphone that the uh, Imam the Muaddin, the one who calls the prayer, the one who delivers the sermon, may use when standing here. By standing here, the leader of the prayer has allowed a amount, an amount of additional people to pray behind him. And this is the perspective from this corner of the main prayer hall, the brother's side, in the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan Regina's prayer hall. We are looking at the member, the pulpit, of the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan's Regina's main prayer hall. This is where the Imam or the Khatib would stand upon when delivering the Friday khutbah, the Friday sermon, the lecture or other Islamic announcements. However, it is perhaps unique in that when we look underneath it, we find wheels making this a mobile member. It's not fixed. It's not sitting on the carpet. It's mobile. This member may be moved to any location within the prayer hall very easily. And why this is important is that because of the ever increasing numbers of worshipers that are praying here in Saskatoon's first and well oldest masjid every amount of prayer space 
is found and made use of. So the member, or at the very least the imam, when leading the prayers after delivering the khutbah, the Friday sermon, he may move over here to the cornermost position and stand here in front of this microphone and use this location to lead the prayers. Thus allowing a number of lines, additional lines of prayer space to be made available for worshipers, hence maximizing the amount of space during prayer time, especially Fridays. So the mobile member with the wheels delivering the Friday sermon there and yet leading the Friday prayers from here is one way of being very creative and using the space that you have to get the space that you need. The Islamic Association of Saskatchewan is not standing still. They are planning for the future. As I understand it, they've purchased land, they have plans, and the aspiration is to open a new school and masjid by 2020. Inshallah, God alone willing, with a lot of hard work and fundraising, this may be the future for the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan. Parking is often an issue in and around masjids, especially on Fridays and busy times like Tarawi. Here, in the Islamic Association of Saskatchewan, on the bulletin board, they've actually listed the municipal code information about where to park when it comes to intersections, driveways or alleys, in consideration of the neighbors, and for safety, fire hydrants, essentially a meter away. It's something that more masjids should be inspired by to put on their bulletin boards, considering every Friday we do hear messages from the mimbar, from the microphone, to please move your car, please move your car. This is the rear of the Islamic school in, at the Saskatoon Islamic Center. On this Saturday morning, day 20 of Ramadan 2016, there are no cars. And one would assume this is a very large parking lot with enough space for worshipers. And that is not the case. There are so many people that are coming to pray for Taravi prayers that there is no space. People have to park on the streets, um, near and far away. This masjid is in a residential area. Many masjids across Canada find themselves in residential areas and yet they will hold the Taravi prayers. At this time of year, the prayers are going very late, past midnight in many cases. And from the mimbar, whether people are praying 8 or 20 rakats, 20 units of prayer of the optional Taravi prayers, or perhaps Isha alone, which is still about 11 or 11.15, when you have this many people coming into residential areas, there is bound to be noise and disruption and making the neighbors very unhappy with activity when perhaps they are sleeping or getting ready for uh, rest. 
the Saskatoon Islamic Center here does not hold Taravi prayers. What the Islamic Association of Saskatoon has decided in consideration of their neighbors and practically in consideration of the lack of parking in the neighborhood is to hold Taravi prayers off-site. Despite having enough space inside the masjid here, they have decided to hold Taravi prayers at the field house, which is a large sports facility within the city of Saskatoon that is a short drive away and it's not too bad if you're like me and you're walking from here to there for Taravi as I did last night. It's something that many, many Islamic centers, masjids that are in residential areas across Canada may wish to consider. You can fundraise for this, you will make your neighbors happy, we have to keep our neighbors happy, we know this from the Prophet, peace be upon him, and it's something, frankly, it never occurred to me. Hold your Tarabi prayers off-site at a community recreation center, a sports facility, a large location that has the parking where nobody will be disturbed if you're coming going at 11, 12, 12, 30, 1 a.m. in the night. This is Himi Syed in the parking lot of the Saskatoon Islamic Center, which is the first and oldest masjid location in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's day 20 of 30 Masjids Canada in Ramadan 2016. Our next stop is Lloyd Minster, Lloyd Minister, which is on the Alberta Saskatoon border. So inshallah, that will be interesting. That will be our next stop on day 20. This is Himi Syed for 30 Masjids Canada at 30masjids.ca. Continuing our journey, 30 Masjids, 30 Canadian Masjids in 30 days in Ramadan 2016. Bicycle parking. The lack of bicycle parking at the outside the Saskatoon Islamic Center is perhaps the one addition bicycle parking that the Saskatoon Islamic Center. Wish to consider.